My name is Song Hong Lee. Uh, I commented before, uh, alongside with me is Victor. Uh, looks like both players have just finished uh, resolving their turns. Uh, so this is the first Imperial Summons that's going to be able to play with the first... Uh, yeah, the first pack. Dynasty first pack, pack. Dynasty tiers pack, of tiers of... Amaterasu? I don't know how to pronounce it. Amaterasu? Amaterasu. Or, I don't know. Okay. Is that an actual name? It's Word? a modification of the goddess of life. Okay. All right, there's somebody here that knows all the Elf of Bar lore, so we're going to be sure to ask him a bunch of questions about stuff. So yeah, we have uh, Kyle on the on the right side. He um, he's playing Unicorn uh, most definitely, and then we have Chris. Uh, some for some of you who who uh, watch videos on this channel, you'll recognize Chris as being a very good Imperial Salt and Destiny player. He's that's to why I thought I recognized him yeah. before. Yeah, he's decided yeah, yeah. to try his hand at Legend of Five Rings, and of course he's playing Phoenix. Now, uh, both uh, both clans are, of course, using the the roles that were chosen during the Winter Court. So that is the uh, Keeper of Water for the Phoenix Clan, That's and right. the, I think it's the Seeker of Void. No, no Keeper, Keeper of Void. Void for the Unicorn. Yeah. So uh, Kyle started out his Dynasty flop with a Giver of Gifts and a Border Rider. Now. Uh, unicorn was actually something I very recently started playing. Like during the first month, I didn't bother yeah. with unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. until the guy who ended up being the top unicorn finisher made like what was it top sixteen or yes. something, and I looked yeah. at his deck. It was actually really a really cool, uh, a really cool build. Uh, so we'll we'll see if there's anything similar to to that deck in Kyle's list here. So he he um, is a second player, which meant that Chris got to declare the first conflict of the turn. It was a void conflict with a shameful display being revealed, and Kyle does the first thing that you always do when you... Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> what if your character gets assassinated or some sort of weird, like, yeah. go home or what have you, then it's like, oh, I cannot do it any longer. You know, it, I can't think of something more tilting than revealing shameful display. And it's always the one I reveal when, yes. I, when I'm least yes. prepared for it. Ugh. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's BS. <laughs> Uh, so, so you still deciding, or? Yeah, I think. Uh, oh man, I. So attempting to dishonor a bow. Uh, yeah. It's not bad. I'd probably go with this. Oh, bow, and then ready for battle. Okay, so. Nice. <laughs> I was wondering what his splash card is. That's pretty good. Unicorn yeah, with lion. Lion with unicorn. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's the same splash that the. The top 16 guy. So, uh, yep. Gains a fate for defending. I guess Chris really wanted to win that, uh, win that political, but, I mean, can't really do anything when. <laughs> yeah, so, but Border Rider is always a really strong play when the board isn't cluttered. I'm surprised that, uh, Kyle didn't commit with the Border Rider first. Yeah. Because then wouldn't you be able to just ready him and then go to, again rather than, like, having a... Or does Kyle go for, like, a political... Well, that's the reason why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, the other thing is because he's second player, and uh, I guess you get to see what the provinces reveal before you decide to commit. Like, I think he realized he could probably defend that very easily and just use Border yeah. Rider to attack twice. Yeah. Oh, I like this, too, because then, uh... Oh, yeah. Well, and then he dishonors the Serene Warrior, right? Man, Serene Warrior is always a risky... Because it's, like, super high player. glory, right? Yeah. So it's like, uh, how much do I lose now? And it's like, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so Chris uh, still has to reveal that province that's being attacked with uh, Kyle. I think... Uh, military conflict. Yeah, Chris just wants to see his hand first. That was oh. Rally the Cause, I think? Yes, that that's got correct, revealed? Yeah. yeah. Rally the Cause is when it's revealed, you switch the conflict type. Which uh, isn't that bad of a prospect, considering how the Border Rider now is a 2-2 due to Spyglass. And I mean, probably Kyle wanted to do a military because he might have charge. Oh, yes. So that he could probably try to break the province and then hit him hard. Uh, yeah, I didn't even <coughs> think about that. Do you, I mean, did you see what the bids were? The bids were five to four. Five to four, okay. Yeah. I mean, I would assume that's the big key in this, just so that, uh... Yeah.
Sorry, we're just dealing sorry. With some sorry about that. Yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Uh, oh, huh, keeps it military. Uh, makes sense. I mean, oh, <laughs> I called it charge. charge nice, <laughs> insane. So that's oh uh, man, Shinjo Alten Sonora. That's plus five military, right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. That brings him to seven. Man. Okay. Seven versus three. Now, if Chris has a way of honoring his uh, character, that would bring him up to seven, I think. Now, how yeah. much glory does Serene Warrior have? I think it's, like, pretty high, isn't it? It's really high. Is it four? I think it's four, right? I mean, we can pull it up, but I'm, I think it's really high. another character. Anyway, I'm not sure if uh, Rally the Cause is the kind of province you want to fight over anyway. I mean, it's done its thing already. Uh, he chose not to use the switch, which kind of bit him in the ass, unfortunately. I mean, like that's the that's the swing and a miss, right? Like yeah. he does lose one military if he yeah. changes it to yes. political, but but that being said, he I think he doesn't want this province to break because uh, Shinjo Alten Sanurai's ability is when you break a province, they discard a character. Or, I, I don't even think it's break a province; you just have to win a military. No, conflict, yeah, right? you have to break yeah. the province. You have to break it. So, uh, Chris over there just played Bonsai, bringing his thing up plus four. And then Kyle responds with a Bonsai of his own. Okay, and so, that brings Kyle to 11. Yep. 7 to 11, yeah. The old 7 11 split. <clears throat> I just want to check. Okay, one second. TV. Ooh, <laughs> so that it just doesn't break. I like it. I mean, you have to, right? Like, uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, this also protects. Uh, this also protects the Serene Warrior from being dishonored. Uh, but is there any military team. card that allows you to dishonor? Uh, maybe not. None of those are courtiers, right? So he couldn't even play for shame or anything. But yeah, he does win the uh, fire conflict. However, he can't dishonor any of his opponent's characters, so he has to honor his border right. <laughs> <which is, laughs> that's still good. Fine. I mean, that's still a plus one. It's not. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Am I looking up Shinjo? Which one am I looking up? Serene Warrior. I just wanted to know. Uh, yeah. Four glory. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it's so risky. I, I don't play that card in my I, game. Stack. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I don't know if that's changed at all with the new pack. I mean, the new pack has some really good uh, card. Like, I think all the cards for Phoenix in the new pack are really good. Like, the mm -hmm. the new, uh, not the champion, but the new five cards. Oh, that's right. That, that adds a void ring effect to every conflict. Yeah, and it's immune to... And immune to ring effects, which is yeah. huge. Like, you know, so you don't get watered, you don't get... You don't get watered, fired, you don't get voided, voided you yeah. don't get fired. Oh, my God. You're fired! You're fired! You're fired! So, uh, yeah, Chris couldn't uh, uh, do a second attack, so this is Kyle's second attack with his Border Rider, reveals Meditations of the Tao. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, he was yeah. hoping to get maybe four cards off of that. Uh, I mean, he is playing Lion, so he could be playing for greater glory. I don't know if he drew one, but he doesn't have any money, uh, unfortunately, to play it. Oh, no. I guess he wants to break it. Yeah, I mean, he can't defend it, so Chris is going to lose an honor for... Uh, Oh, because he's just at one point short, eh? He was at three yeah. going in yeah. to a four. Man. <clears throat> All right, so he resolves the earth ring. Oof. And did you see if he uh, dis lost an honor there for uh, undefended? No, they didn't. No. Okay. I got to... Yeah, Do we have to tell them that? Yeah, we'll tell them that. I mean, the, the Imperial Summons is... We're doing a tournament structure, but we're not doing a... Oh. Yeah, Boom. It's, they it's, must have heard us. It's not a hyper-competitive event, I think. Uh, it's just for the sake of both players. Education. I think that went really well for Kyle there. Yeah. Turn one gate, claiming three rings, and then, I mean, way of the way of the unicorn is actually not bad here, because then like he can commit to uh, keeping the first. Yeah, well, first in the first player, and well, then. No, no, no. Way of the unicorn would only help if he was the first player. No, I mean he is now. Yeah. So he would. Sorry, what I mean is for turn. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For upcoming turn. But, uh, do, do you find though the way way the unicorn is useful even like how often do you want to keep 
first player, is it worth a card slot? Well, think about it. Like, let's say uh, Kyle wants to start off with. Uh... <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh, did he forget to draw from the? No, no, no. no. He forgot to move the. Attachment. Oh, with the giver of gifts. Oh, savage. Yeah. Womp, you know, womp. Again, like <laughs> I don't play unicorn. All that I much. mean, like, yeah. oops. Oops, my loops. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Dodge Pong, Ben is in the chat. Hi, hi, Ben. He is the uh, he's the guy that runs the Peach Hack. Uh, oh, that's channel. right. Yeah. That's right. Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry. What I was saying was, um, might be not bad to go first, cause then like it makes Chris decide on uh, what characters to buy as well, right? Cause then it like, you know, let's say if Chris buys. I don't, I don't know. It seems risky to buy the clan champion now, but yeah. let's say if he did, yep. and then you know Kyle kept the first player marker, then he gets to you know void first, right? And then maybe water or something after, like because most of the guys won't stick around, right? Yep. So uh, Kyle started off with a Mishoto welder, <clears throat> wielder rather. So I, that's a two cost two two, but it reduces the cost by one if he's the first player. Uh, Would you play the border? Uh, I mean, I don't know what Kyle has in his hand. It looks like if he has another spyglass, hopefully he'll remember the. Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. Wait, Ben, you're the unicorn Hatamoto. That's crazy. Did you know Dave Hoyland is the crab Hatamoto? Hatamoto? Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. I wish that they did worlds a little bit differently. What, for L5R? Yeah. Like, how so? Well, I mean, like, it was super popular, but, like, I felt like they could have rewarded um, yeah. some timing structure, right? Like, I'm not saying that they should have reduced the number of right. participants, but, like, I don't, I don't run events. All right, so the, the dials are revealed and... Four uh, to three, four it looks three. like? Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight honors still on Kyle's side. Things are looking really good for Kyle. <clears throat> so, do you go for water here so that you did not Chris the water covert? And you can bow or force two participant characters in? Yeah, I like that. I mean, there's a dollar on there, so it's appealing. And yeah, also denying the covert from the adept of the waves. Oh, and uh, it's Kyle just seems he, to agree with us. It's just I think now Chris might want to defend more so that he can gain the fate off of defending, but yeah, or and then trigger the ring as well, like the keeper initiate that's in the discard. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, there, he is incentivized to do it. However, that leaves him open for an un. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. yeah an, an uncontested attack by Kyle, and you do, you don't want to put yourself that far behind this early. Right? So uh, that's I like what he, Kyle did because then like if if it ever gets to a situation where he might lose, he can use the stronghold to bring a giver of gifts in. Yep. So uh, people are watching the numbers that you're seeing at the top of the screen that are going up and down. That's just the tally for the current strength in the conflict. So right now Kyle is at five strength, military skill. Uh, yeah, that was a big the um, big issue on time when. We were deciding on yeah. how it's breaking because if you add a bunch of people in, but uh, to just total the number right away, it's easy for both yeah. of us to kind of. Yeah. Okay, so he decides to go with both the, the Sako Diplomat and the Serene Warrior. I mean, Sako makes sense. Diplomat is not contributing any any skill right now because he's dishonored. But I mean, like, if you don't commit it, then it's going to get bound, right? Like, That's might true. as well send it. Yeah. But. And on the off chance you win, you can. Yeah. You can trigger the uh, the effect, right? So oh, bow with, uh, yeah, the waves. <laughs> Okay, okay. A, a rare use of <laughs> yeah. offensive. Yeah. yeah. Rarely you use well, it to ready your own guy, uh, but <laughs> well, against unicorn especially. Right? Yes. Like what are the only targets? It's like the the uh, Uchi Uchi wayfinder, wayfinder and uh, yeah, and this guy. That's hilarious. So that puts him down to uh, three skill now. That's right. So three to three, Kyle's still winning, although not breaking. Maybe, I think Kyle. Yeah, maybe Kyle just lets this go. I think no, no. I, uh, well, well, actually, I, I, <laughs> how many cards does Kyle in his hand? No, because if Chris lets this go, he can yeah. just ready the character, right? The character that just got bowed. How does he ready it? 
Oh, with the water? With the ring. Uh, that's true. Yeah. That, um, like... So I've seen Assassinate Court Games, which is not useful right now in Kyle's hand. It's just a Mexican standoff. It's like, what do I yeah. do? What do I do? But I think I, I would commit here. Woo! Oh, nice. <laughs> Another charge. How lucky. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going up to eight. All right. Eight, eight skill now. <clears throat> Uh, with the uh, possibility of killing something off, although it, it, you is get the, pick, don't you? it is the opponent's choice, yeah. So it's like you're just going to kill off something that was going to go away anyway. But still, I mean, you're breaking the province. If if Kyle indeed does have for greater glory in his hand, this can be a huge. Wow, this is an swing. insane. Yeah. Start of turns like. Okay, so wow, that's just a, two broken provinces now on Chris's side. Man, unicorn in rare form today. Wow, this is uh, this is something, all right. Wonder if Kyle will remember to use the ring to ready his guy. Do you have to do it, or uh, is it a main? The ring effect, because the character was uh, technically yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's mandatory or not. I mean, whatever. The two problems is broken, I think. Kyle's already in such yeah. a huge start that <laughs> yeah you don't wanna, you want to you want to make this you want, you want this still to be an interesting game right so yeah but yeah you're right he could have he could have stood I mean he, he he might be still be able to catch it before he goes into his next uh, attack yeah oh right yeah that's why it just only uh, that's uh, true right because it was participating in conflict yeah thank you Ben yeah because like what if you ever end up grabbing the wrong ring with a bunch of fate on it? You're just like, I don't want to use it, but I just want the money, right? Like, yep. The odd chances, like, when yeah, your deck I'll runs out and you don't want to fight Earth, <laughs> trigger Earth. Right. Yeah, also, Ben, like, I would just ready it just to uh, get in the habit of resolving the ring effect, even if it does nothing. Yes. So that I don't forget yes. later on. Because I can probably count on the fingers of one hand the times I've actually remembered to take <laughs> one fate from my secret roll <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I've yeah. played a bunch of Elfheimer games too at this point. I always have to put like a special indicator yeah. on the provinces if I'm seeker so that it's like, what does this mean? Because it's yep. a... Ooh, seeker knowledge. Nice. So this is still pre-conflict action. Yep. Yeah, seeker... Of knowledge, of course, uh, adds the air element to uh, whatever conflict she's participating in. So Chris deciding to go fire political uh, with just a seeker of knowledge and Ugh. bad times. <laughs> Damn it! How brutal! Oh my god! So that was yeah, meditations of the Tao that was revealed. So that that seeker is not long for this world. It did its, uh, did its job of revealing a province, but that really sucked. Now let's see. Do you defend? Uh, what's the stats on Giver of Gifts again? It's it like a 2-3, two, two, I believe. Giver of Gifts. So two military, three political. Because, like, do you really care? Well, because I don't want... I don't want Chris to ever get the honored ability because then, like, his characters get, you know, really strong or your characters get really weak. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know? Like. I mean, you can also just throw a giver of gifts in uh, as a way of trying to bleed cards from his hand. Well, because, like, also, Kyle has to decide. Oh, so you defend it with none? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Like the the only thing he can he can honor that is going to have an effect on the board this turn is his adept of the ways, which does bring it to three three. I mean that's not insignificant. But uh, again, because Kyle is unicorn, he always has the option of using his stronghold to move somebody into the conflict. Uh, he chooses not to. So well, no, it's only during military, right? Is it during military? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why little yeah, symbol yeah, means. Yeah, you're right. What's it called? The endless plains outpost. That is correct. 
Sorry if to any viewers who think that we're clueless. It's just. Yeah, hey, I mean, like. It, no, no, no. It's just the unicorn. The fact that you're no, playing unicorn. No, it's just. I, like. <laughs> I, haven't seen that. I think I spend the most time yeah. reading unicorn cards than, like. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just like. I've never heard of a two province. Uh, two strength province that, like. Oh, that breaks immediately? Yeah, it when breaks you... immediately if you want to. Like. What? You know, I have a, I have an interesting story about that one. I was playing against, I think it was Travis, okay. a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, he was playing Scorpion, I was playing Unicorn. Uh, his his flop initially had a base showed you, and I guess he hasn't played against Unicorn enough. He just goes, okay, my first action, play Bayushi showed you, put oh, two feet on him. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. And what's no, the first no, province no. he attacks? Endless planes. Oh, jeez, jeez, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, the upside is that he, he's never forgotten since then that Endless Planes is a card. <clears throat> so Adept the Waves is Glory 2, I think? Or is that 1? I believe it's 2 Glory. Okay. So it's sitting so at it's 4 still right now. Yeah. 4 to 4? Yep. I think 4 to 4. All right. Man, Chris has just been on the, the defense this entire game. Oh, nice. So, plus two glory using his stronghold. Yep. Puts it up to six. Uh, let's see. Does, uh, I'm is, there, is there another charge hiding? <laughs> no, he can't charge into this, no. but he could assassinate. Yeah, ass assassinate is good because there's a fate on there, right? So, you're getting uh, two turns worth of card yeah. off the table. I mean, you are you are doing we a four honor swing there. We haven't seen Chris's uh, splash card yet, have we? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if if Chris is following what a lot of the Phoenix players at Rogues were doing, it would be a dragon splash from your most from your most and let go. Oh, here we go, assassinate. Okay. Yep. That's I would a do smart it. Play. I would do it for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's a waste. Well, I mean, not waste, but right. Like. Sure, he gets to gain an honor, but he now loses an honor because he's not defending with anyone. Kyle is sitting at four honor though, and and Phoenix, he's about, he's gonna most likely gain two off of this. Yeah, uh, but I mean, Phoenix are, are pretty good at uh, managing the opponent's honor once it gets to that point. But now he plays captive audience, changes it to a military, so that's gonna boost his. Actually, that's gonna boost his skill by plus one, so he loses one from political off the giver of gifts, but he adds one. To the military from Border Rider. Yep. And so I think he forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, can you really do anything about this right now? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, yep. not, none of Chris's characters are sticking around. And, ugh. I mean, Kyle is at three honor. He's going to go to four? Five. Five? Yeah. Yeah, that's the smart thing to do, take the two on here. <coughs> yeah, I mean, this is quite a... Uh, I mean, the sequencing was perfect, too. Yeah. The two charges, the two champions. Mm -hmm. One didn't get to do anything, but the other broke a province, which was key. For sure, yeah. And he gets another honor off his uh, giver gifts leaving play. Oh, my God. All right, turn three. Now, uh, Chris says he opportunity that was turn to be... three. Like all well, three problems already yeah. broken. Every problem is broken a turn. Well, that's what you want to do as unicorn, because uh, I just feel like if you fall behind, if you start, if you start losing that that tempo advantage, like yeah, you, uh, Phoenix can bury you. Yep. Yeah, and uh, here's some of those cheap uh, cheap characters that Chris really could have used couple of turns earlier. Another serene warrior, uh, Shiba Sukune, naive student, and Shiba Peacemaker. <clears throat> so he starts off with a uh, serene warrior, an unassassinatable target. <laughs> so that probably means he's not attacking shameful display this turn. <laughs> <laughs> but then you don't want to hit meditation to how either. No, that's true. I mean, how much worse can it get? I guess endless planes is something you don't want to reveal either. If you're just attacking with one character, I've heard a lot of 
talk from different players, Unicorn players, a few anyway. Some actually don't even run it at this point, which is weird. <clears throat> Wouldn't you want that as like a surprising like? Yeah, sometimes. Well, it's not a mandatory trigger. The, right. the reaction. So, um, Shiva Peacemaker. No fate. I don't think Chris is gonna commit too many cards into that guy anyway either. No. So it's like the inverse opposite. Is like one is must commit, one's cannot commit. Like one cannot commit as attacker, one cannot commit as defender. What, what's the name of that card? That one he just played. Aggressive like the, Moto, I think. Aggressive Moto. Yeah, three zero cannot be declared as a defender. <laughs> well, uh, you could cloud the mind your super peacemaker, so you could attack with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't have a Shigenja. <laughs> what do you think Kyle would bid? Just one? Maybe like three or four? Uh, no, he would bid low here. Sorry, yeah. you were saying? Well, no, I just just once I want to see a province broken with a Cloud the Minded uh, Shiva Peacemaker. Yeah. Well, that's like... <laughs> there's got to be... Be uh, I mean, that sounds sick. But there's yeah. got to be better, like, targets for Cloud the Mind, right? No, no, this is just, like, uh, for the lulls play. <laughs> <laughs> is there any card at this moment that does that, blanking the ability before going to a conflict? Uh, the only thing I can think of is Haruma Ambusher, but I can't remember if that's... Uh, only as Defender. Is it Defender? Yeah, if you play it as a Defender, you can blank... Uh, Activated abilities. But I, I feel like there's a card coming out in this first cycle. Isn't there that, one right now that just came out? Court Mask or Oni Mask or whatever it's called? Does no, that that, do the that's same not thing? out yet. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's coming out soon. <clears throat> Anywho, do you think. Uh, do you think Chris declares an attack here? He Maybe can't. political? Mm. Maybe political yeah, like. Border Rider, though. I mean, like, it's just so annoying. But that makes him use it, though. I guess so, but he... Uh, political... You attack the with the naive student, I guess. Yeah. You gotta get a... He, he must have cards in his hand that he must play. Yeah. So that, like... Because I saw a pacifism in his hand. Mm -hmm. Might want to send, like, the aggressive moto or whatever, like, the blank. Yeah. So... I don't... Yeah, water. Because yeah. then, oh yeah, if he wins, the tiles, then yeah. if he wins, he can bow character. He can also get a keeper initiative as well as another body that can do both military yeah. or political. I mean, if you bow, if you use water ring to bow the aggressive moto, I mean, you're blanking that completely because he, he yeah. can't defend anyway. No, he can't. Yeah. The only thing is, if I think if Chris does a political conflict here, Kyle just snap blocks with give her gifts. Uh, or Dareth, no, we don't have deck lists available uh, because this is Imperial Summons. We're we're not taking deck lists. Oh man, Magic Guarded, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Manicure Garden was revealed Oof. with the political water with the nice oh. student. Yeah, and I think I think this looks like Kyle is defending with just the Giver gifts. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, King of Fate. Uh, so it's uh, two to three. Is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, dodge point. That's true. I mean, if if you're just if you're just wanting presence, so you don't uh, you don't take the honor loss from an undefended uh, combat, then yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a lot of cheeky ways you can do as yeah, well. But if you do that, then and he and Chris ends up winning, then he gets to bow both the aggressive moto off the resolution of the yep. conflict and some other character yep. that doesn't have fate on it. <laughs> now, as as Chris, do you do you uh, commit anything to this conflict, or are you just? Just accept the loss. Uh, no, you, you wanna no, you wanna grab. Okay. You wanna grab something off of this. So that's, There's the, uh, the cards pay off that you get. Help quite a bit. Yeah. 
So four, no, five? Oh, yeah, because yeah. two glory. Yep. <coughs> I would, um... Does Magnificent Komodo cost zero? It does. Might as well play it. I know it's going to leave, but... But you're, like, throwing so many... Like, Kyle hasn't committed any cards to this... That is... This conflict yet. No, he right? did. A court games. Oh, was that a court games yeah, you played? Sorry. Yeah, really I thought games. it was already... Okay. Eh, still. I, mean, I know. The, the court games is oh. useful because uh, the Giver of Gifts is going to stick around for <coughs> extra turn, but... I don't know. I just, so, Giver of Gifts can only move attachments from... Friendly, your own side. Yeah, I think oh, it's oh. friendly attached, uh, friendly characters. Well, oh, that'd be ridiculous. It would be just like uh, that Karata district. Oh yeah. Oh baby, yeah. Oh man, like uh, and crabs looking good yes. after this pack one. Yeah. Hope, hopefully, we get a crab uh, deck on camera for the next round. Uh, yeah, it's an attachment you control. Mm. So he does go ahead and play the uh, the kimono. kimono Four to yep. five, as I guessed. Uh, play the huge wayfinder maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you take a look at the stronghold province. It's probably Kuromori. What do you think? As a defender, Kuromori. Uh, you, so the problem with Kuromori. Oh, it is Kuromori. Because you, I think, now modern uh, Phoenix players with their new role, they can either play Kuromori or Shameful Display, but not both. Right. Right. So it, you actually don't know what it is. Um, now Kuromori is actually fairly annoying for uh, oh for you really to deal with, but yeah. And that whole exchange, he lost two cards, and you guys got and you guys got discarded. Uh, he's effectively down one card just because of the sincerity on the night student. But depending on if this game is over this turn or not, like that, <laughs> he's not actually getting that no, card back. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh man, I am ready. Savage. So it removes the fate from the giver of gifts to ready him. So then. But yeah, Cavalry go... Cavalry reser Reserves is a card too. God. Can that be done in any type of challenge? Or does that have to be like specifically totally military? military challenge. I can look it up. <laughs> so, like, do you. You go military, or you go political, right? So then you can try to go military again later? Right? Um, Do you, like, send a few guys? Yeah. Military only, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that sounds... Brought it up on the screen. Why does he go do that first? Hey, what is he afraid of? I'm not sure. Ingrazo Moto is, like, 3-0, right? Yes. So now it's sitting at five strength. Like, cause like, why don't he just go? Oh, but then maybe Chris doesn't even fire the ability then, if he sends only not enough. You right? know what? It maybe playing the attachments pre-conflict. He's trying to bait uh, Chris into overcommitting. Maybe for because if he is doing the the two conflict strategy. Oh right, yeah. giver of gifts can move that shit. Yeah, yeah. You you do one conflict, he switches <laughs> it or whatever. You give her of gifts to uh, to move the <coughs> katana to one of your other characters. In the new Actually, attack. if Kyle does go military, Chris probably doesn't want to change it either because he loses a lot of stats off of uh, yeah that as well. Yeah, but yeah, he's lo losing three stats from his peacemaker, right? Yeah, three. Well, a total of four, right? Four, if he yeah. It. Whereas Kyle loses one, five, yeah, six, eh, maybe, but still. Yeah, Ben brings up a good point. If uh, Kyle has captive audience in his hand too, this is just pretty much a no-brainer. You just do the commit. Here we go, everybody yeah. in. I mean, of course, like you can always send the border rider after. Yeah, and and Chris hasn't broken any promises, <laughs> so you really don't even care that much if you. Yeah. I think you go political first. Well, yeah. If he has cap, if he has a captive audience, it doesn't matter what he. Yes. What type he declares? Yeah. So there's the Koromori reveal, and uh, and Chris Chris needs to defend with everybody. There we go. So two, four, nine, ten, fourteen. Fourteen is okay. Jesus. Against seven. Oh no, a 
think Chris made a mistake. Didn't want to play the pacifism first? Oh. Because you can't play that during a conflict. Yeah. He may have missed that clause. I think Chris, Chris even said mistakes were made. <laughs> Might be the clincher there, right? Like Chris does have a secret knowledge in his hand, so if he does switch it to political, he could play it. But again, yeah. if uh, Kyle has a captive audience, then yeah, yeah, you have to, yep. you have to send both. Like, so that's seven on defense. Yep. You switch a ring type, right? You have to. Because you want what? the Serene Warrior to stick around. It doesn't matter if Kyle breaks the province, right? <laughs> I think you just switch to political and you hope that uh, maybe Kyle doesn't have the captive audience. How does this work? I'm going to talk to you over there. One sec. All right, so and against the waves, against the Mishoto wielder. That brings it down by two. Still looks like a break to me. So, uh, brutal route using the uh, aggressive moto, sending home the Shiva Peacemaker. Chris is going to need a miracle to win this one, or to, to not lose this conflict, I think. Sorry, guys. Just had a question regarding a card. I'll just play the route. Who did? Uh, Kyle, send the Shiba Peacemaker home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, oh. Chris, yeah, I th think Chris. Yeah, Chris was like, yeah, that's I'll it. Try it. Yep, that's it. All right, that was pretty uh, one-sided, I think. Yeah. I mean, I think I said it before, but uh, uh -huh. stars aligned for Unicorn that game. Double well, charge. I mean, yeah, it's true, but I, I think. Between cavalry reserves, double char like charge and captive audience, I think the tools are there for for a, a unicorn player to do really well. I was underestimating them. Actually, yeah. Uh... It's just that if you play against someone like Crane or someone else that has like a lot of control cards, like, <laughs> you start you start yeah. feeling the pain a lot. Ugh. Oh yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm really glad Unicorn won uh, won a match on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I like it.